method of pruning is called shearing. And typically when we're talking about evergreen shrubs, whether they're small or large, such as this one we have next to us, we're looking at shearing these as far as pruning them. So we're not necessarily gonna go in and look at individual branches. We're going to reshape this in order to maintain whatever shape we're looking for. Sometimes we're talking about small uh, evergreens that have more of a spherical shape. It might be a topiary that's got several spheres to it um, or something like this that's more of just a hedge. Now you can do this and kind of maintain more of a natural structure or it might be that you're wanting to maintain more of a pyramidal look. So one thing that's happening here is you can see on this north side where it's getting a little more shade, we've got some upper growth that is outgrowing the lower growth. And that's the biggest concern is when you are pruning something that's a large hedge, you want to make sure that the bottom is always wider than the top. That's so that that bottom growth can still receive plenty of sunlight in order for it to still continue to grow. If the top gets wider or if you prune it so that the top is wider than the bottom, then that bottom portion is only going to lose that sunlight and again just sort of deplete and kind of, as you can see here, it's uh, a lot smaller down below. So we're going to try to bring this back up to shape um, and there's a couple of methods you can do uh, if you want to use hand shears like this. These work really well and in this method we're just going to go in and kind of give it a haircut. We're not necessarily looking at individual branches. What we're looking at is more of the profile of the um, shrub. So you can see here if we're looking at the profile we're going to take off a fair amount of this uh, material right here in the middle. So these shears work well if you have a small project or you just want some physical activity. But if you have a large hedge, you might want to invest in a power tool. Um, you can get battery ones or gas powered. Um, both usually work really well. Now be mindful though that when you start this up, they are going to make uh, more aggressive cuts quicker. So you want to kind of get a good feel for how to do this. Um, again, we're just going to kind of step back and look and try to follow um, the silhouette of this, being mindful that we want the bottom to be wider than the top. So you can see now that we've got it trimmed up and it's a very natural but pyramidal shape. So again, we're not going for that formal tight look. We do have some voids here a little bit, but we've opened them up so that they can get more sunlight and hopefully we'll allow those, to, those branches to uh, grow out some. You know, depending on your branches or your shrubs that you're looking at, um, everybody's going to have kind of a different pruning style. So you might want that more formal look. If we were to make this in a more formal look, I would have to take this back even more severe in order to make up for those voids that are in here. This has a little bit more of a natural look. Um, this is a Christmas jewel holly, which means it's going to have sort of a natural pyramidal look. So it doesn't need a lot of pruning. And that's one thing that's in another segment, it's important to have the right plant for the right place. So if you're wanting something that has that pyramidal form, make sure that you're getting that plant that naturally has that. So it reduces how much pruning you're going to have to do. So again, if you're out looking at pruning up some of your plants, keep in mind whether it's blooming on old wood or new wood. If it's blooming on old wood, wait until after it's bloomed. If it's blooming on new wood that's going to come out, then it's okay to go ahead and prune that in late winter, early spring. Again, looking at the different types of pruning methods, depending on what you're looking at pruning. Thinning is taking dis uh, discrete cuts inside that and intentional cuts inside a plant, making sure to kind of reevaluate that shape. You always wanna step back and look at anything you're pruning. Heading is another form of pruning where we're going to just basically cut the main stem off or cut the whole plant off and rejuvenate that. And finally, shearing is a great method to clean up those evergreens.
hope you enjoyed this video. It's part of our Oklahoma Gardening YouTube channel. You can also find even more videos on our OK Gardening Classics YouTube channel. And join us on social media for great gardening tips, photos, and discussion. Thank you.